to my guest, Employment Friday, Ed Lazier, former chairman of the President's Council Economic, Economic Advisors under George W. Bush. And before we get into it, Ed, very quickly, I'm going to run through the highlights. To me, seeing labor force participation uh, unchanged, but up uh, year over year, two tenths. Labor to population, although unchanged, up three tenths year over year. U6, a huge drop. 7.3. I had to go back all the way to Dece 2000 to find a lower level. And finally, the jobs were weak, 20,000. But the wages in the work week weren't bad, especially wages, especially year over year. So now, Ed Lazier, the spotlight's on you. Why don't you divine what you see as you comb through this report? Okay, well, very good summary of the numbers. This is about as internally inconsistent a report as I think that I've ever seen. Um, it's, it's really surprising because if you look at the numbers, the ones you pointed out, jobs numbers very low, 20,000. Of course, that contrasts with very strong job growth previous month. Uh, but more important, extremely high wage growth. So you're looking at four-tenths of a, of a percentage point. If that were sustained over a yearly basis, we'd be talking about 3% real. So that looks like a very strong labor market. Uh, at the same time, hours of work, which is something that I follow pretty closely, average hours of work fell by one-tenth. That doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually is the equivalent of about 400,000 jobs. So that's a big deal. But uh, you mentioned U6. Now, where did, U6, where did that decline in U6 come from? It's primarily people who are working part-time uh, on an economic basis, and that has declined very significantly over the past month. So what that says is we have fewer people being forced into part-time work because they can't find full-time jobs. That seems to fly in the face of the decline in uh, hours, average hours, uh, weekly hours. So the question then is, you know, what do you make of this? And, and if there were ever a month where you want to wait till next month and see what happens, this would be it. Um, you know, I, I was listening to you this morning, and uh, one of the things that came out is, uh, you know, you, you always want to average these things. You want to look at the markets and so forth. You talked a lot about the markets, uh, and that's what I'm looking at right now as well. Well, you know, we only have two months to choose from from 2019, and that job average is around 165,000. For all of 2018, right. it was 223,000, but obviously we don't have a lot of data points for this sample. You know, let me change gears just a bit. After looking at everything sure. you said, looking at the response in the market, I'm actually fairly surprised it wasn't a worse knee-jerk reaction. Things have recovered somewhat. But the real issue is we're in a kind of risk-off mode. The volatility at the yeah. end of last year, maybe prices are close to where they were, at least prior to this week. But in the end, this number doesn't help investor confidence, whether you want to call it lagging or not. Right, absolutely. So, you know, if you look at what the market is saying about growth next year, when I say the market, I usually look at the change in the S&P 500 over the past three months. But uh, I know you like interest rates a lot. One can look at interest rates as well. Right now, they're pretty much telling the same story, which is uh, probably 2% growth for the following year. So, uh, you know, we, we had a stronger year last year. We had 2.9%. But, uh, you know, whether there's a trend, uh, as you know, it was 4.2 percent, then 3.4, uh, 2.6, and then who knows what this quarter will be. But people are in forecasting uh, 4 percent growth for this quarter. So those things tend to be moving in a slightly negative direction, but again, not recession direction. We're talking about lower growth, but not recession levels. All right, you know, we only have a half a minute left, so we have to go fast. Okay. After listening to okay. all of this, you know, I think about how ugly the market looked in October, and if you'd have sold yeah. out, not jumped back in, you'd have left a lot on the table. What should an investor right. do that's nervous but doesn't believe necessarily growth's going to be 2% for 2019? Maybe they think it's going to be 2.5. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I, again, I, you talked about uh, the Fed's policy this morning, and you said, well, you know, the uh, both you and Steve actually agreed on this, which is not always common, but uh, you were agreeing that basically this is not a period to be watching the Fed. This is a period to be watching the markets. And there was high volatility, but things have, have turned around a bit. Things are a bit better. So I would say at this point, it's kind of a hold pattern, both in terms of the Fed and in terms of the market. That's kind of where we are right now. Uh, we Excellent. really need to watch the data play out. I love when we take pauses because you really have to uh, do your homework for the next move.